Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Alan Lander, once again. And today I want to show you a really interesting feature called Find My iPhone. So this feature is a new and for mobile me customers for in the iPhone OS 3.0 software. Now this function is available for all generations of the iPhone. If you, if you have the original, the 3G, or the new 3GS, which I have here in my hand. Find My iPhone allows you to track a down your phone if it's lost somewhere. You know, we left that at the restaurant, at school, you know, those unfortunate situations. Or maybe you just misplaced it somewhere around your home and you just want to make sure it's at your house, but, you know, you're just having trouble finding it. Find My iPhone is a very simple setting. When you set up a mobile me account access, you know, there's a little on switch for Find My iPhone right there. So once that's on... Um, your iPhone just starts communicating back and forth with mobile me servers to determine its location. I'm going to log into my mobile me account and I'm just going to show you how the function works. Mobile me is, there's no way you can control anything from the phone. Everything has to be online from, you know, a computer. And that's one of the drawbacks, but we'll talk about that later. So I just want to tell you how much uh, or how Find My iPhone works. Your iPhone is there. In this one, I'm gonna have it with the ringer off. It's any, it's on silent. It's thrown somewhere there in my room. So, I'm loading my mobile me account. Blah, blah, blah. It's taking a little while. So much people, a lot of people probably lost their iPhones. And they're probably looking for them right now. You never know. So uh, let's do this. Can load for us. Got the password in there. So. Uh, See, let's try this. Mobile me is currently unavailable. Huh. Okay, loading account so we can get this a little bit more clear. It's taking up time from the video. That's a let's see. Mobile me account is unloading. Ooh. There's no access to mobile me right now. What is it? 10:30? Exactly 10:30. Central time. Mobile Me is down. June 23rd, 2009. Mobile Me is down. Apple alert. Apple alert. Well, it shouldn't be down. I, I got email pushed to me right now. There we go. There's my Mobile Me subscription. I'm going to go to find my iPhone. And now we can talk to you about this feature. Trying to locate. Now Mobile Me is saying, iPhone, where are you? Anywhere across the globe. It's using the location feature of the uh, iPhone, the GPS. But it doesn't use a GPS chip. It doesn't even show you the blue dot like you do in the Maps program. It just shows you that round thing you get when you're like in the cellular space. So that's what that's that's what you get when you're on the what is it? The original iPhone. I don't know. If the iPod Touch also does location search, but you know that's all it shows you the location of where the phone is. So in this case, now that the phone's there, it's online. Now I can send out a message. I'm just going to put, this iPhone is lost, call 512, you know, 140438, okay? And I can probably put like a $10 reward. And then I can also play a sound for two minutes. This sound is a sonar sound, the ringtone that comes with your iPhone. That's a, that's a drawback, number one, for find my iPhone. I can't put the mosquito sound so that the person can get intimidated. <laughs> Send. And mobile me will email you once the message has been received. In this case, my phone already started ringing. Unable to process a request. It's already here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Important message. Exactly what I typed on the phone. It's right there. And now the circle got smaller, so now it really knows where the phone is now. It's probably got the GPS going on there. So slide to unlock. It won't turn off until I press OK. So... You know, that's how Find My iPhone really works. And, you know, if your phone's lost, someone took it, there's no way you can get it back. There's remote wipe, understand, erase all data. You know, it will erase everything on your phone. Probably all your contact information, your email, web, web history, all your messages, probably all your songs. I don't know if it deletes all the applications. probably does since, you know, there's Facebook and everything. You don't want to get into that. So, closing the phone, that's Find My iPhone. Now I want to talk about drawbacks from Find My iPhone. Excuse the disturbance in the background. Dogs are barking. 
Find my iPhone. You know, can be easily turned off by any person who has iPhone knowledge. If someone snatches my iPhone, they can easily go to the settings, mail contact calendars, me.com, and they can just turn off that feature. Boom. One slide. Off. iPhone goes offline. I can no longer look for it. It'll be that iPhone's turned off. Even when the iPhone's turned off, it cannot be found. Offline. You know, it doesn't say it's probably updating still. But offline. It won't show you um, the way. It won't show you the phone anymore. It's gone forever. Anyone with you know iPhone knowledge can do that immediately. So that's a drawback with Find My iPhone. A major one. And something I think Apple can fix really instantly. Um, you know, if I want to turn off the Find My iPhone feature, and it's already being tracked, the iPhone should ask me to enter my mobile me password. It should let me enter, like, a master password, or the password I used to log into my mobile me account. Let me enter that password to confirm that I want to turn off that feature. If it's, you know, and I can do that at any time, or once the phone has already started being tracked online. So that the phone can still be tracked, and there's no way the user can turn it off. And... You know, another f awesome feature would be to make the phone not turn off. It'll have to stay on at all times until the battery dries out. There's no way he can slide the power off or anything. The phone would not allow you to do that. So it can still be tracked with, you know, the mobile me and the satellites. And, you know, you can get more help in getting your iPhone back. But that's pretty much all I have for Find My iPhone. It's a great feature, but, you know, with a little experience... Someone can just turn off the feature and your iPhone is gone forever. It's a nice addition to have, you know, if I lose it somewhere in the home. But if it's in someone else's hands and that it's a stranger, I guess that's the end of the relationship between you and your beloved iPhone. So that's my uh, in impressions and my review for Find My iPhone. And we'll catch you guys later. Peace.